starting in 2024, films will be required to meet new inclusion standards um, to be eligible for the Academy Awards for Best Picture. They'll have to have a certain percentage of actors or crew from underrepresented racial and ethnic groups. What do you think of these new inclusion standards for films? They make me vomit. This is an art form. It's also a, a form of commerce and it makes money, but it's an art. And no one should be telling me as an artist that I have to give in to the latest, most current idea of what morality is. And what are we risking? Are we really risking hurting people's feelings? And I'm sorry, I don't think that there's a minority or a majority in the country that has to be catered to like that. Are we crazy? Do we not know that art is art? This is so patronizing. It's so, it's so thoughtless and, and, and treating people like children. We have to anticipate having our, our feelings hurt, our children's feelings. We don't know how to stand up and, and bop the bully in the face. And here are the all-male nominees. <laughs> this goes out to all those black and brown boys and girls and non-gender conforming who don't see themselves, we're trying to show you, you and us. So thank you, thank you, this is for you. We have to vote in 2020 and we have to get, beg and plead for everyone we know to vote in 2020. I've tried my very best to live a life of my own making and I wouldn't have been able to do this without employing a woman's right to choose. It's our time to have wage equality once and for all and equal rights for women in the United States of America. And the Oscar goes to Roman Polanski. Apple roared into the, the TV game with a morning show, a superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So, well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? To us, there is no greater duty than reporting the truth and fighting back against the corrupt corporate news narratives that are poisoning our country. For us to continue to be the largest independent creator of no nonsense, objective, conservative news content on the web, we need your help. The help of you and patriots exactly like you. We can do this.